What's up guys? Uh, Hackintosh for Dummies here with another video. Um, this one's going to be kind of like a buyer's guide. Um, just a bit of help to pick some pick some parts, figure out how to uh, build a build a Hackintosh. Um, so now that you got your homework done, you might have found that uh, you may need some components for the computer you already have to make it uh, compatible or you just want to build a computer from the ground up I'm gonna try and give you some help today because it uh, it can be a bit confusing especially if you don't know much about building computers or anything at all for that matter um, I built a computer never built one before I found it to be pretty easy so hopefully you do too after um, after I get my videos up uh, if you're really unsure about picking your own parts I recommend just copying off someone um, like me I'll be posting links to uh, all of my parts in the description or on the Tony Mac website um, great place talked about it already you gotta get there sign up for the form and um, there's a section called user builds and uh, there's also some builds that uh, Tony Mac hit already put together called custom X um, let's go take a look at that right now so shoot over to the Tony Mac website um, we're gonna shoot uh, to custom X um, there's three here one for every budget um, he lists all the parts, he lists links to buy all the parts I think off Amazon. Um, now you don't have to use excuse me you don't have to use all of these parts that he recommends like here he just recommends a CD DVD burner you can use pretty much any one you want. Um, we'll talk about that a bit later. Um, so all of these builds, all three of them, look good to me. And if Tony Mac recommends them, then um, I'm sure they're great. And uh, they all, I would say they definitely work good for uh, hacking toshing. Hacking toshing, pardon me. Um, so yeah, that's that. Custom X. Everything's already there for you. Three different ones. Perfect. Um, what else are we going to look at? Uh, we're going to look at the form. So head on over to the form. And we're going to go to pre installation, go to user builds. So no, this is uh, the user build section. Uh, this is where people post about their builds, um, if they were successful, if they weren't successful, right? Success, success, partially successful. And you'll see, um, you'll see, see people posting these letters and numbers. That's uh, that's their motherboard. That's something we're gonna talk about in a minute here. Um, so yeah, you can just click on one. This guy was nice enough to list all of uh, all of his parts and where to get them, and uh, a little blurb about his build. And um, yeah, if you can just come in here and just completely copy off someone, because if uh, they had a successful build, there's no reason you can't because. Um, we're all doing the same thing. So, I don't know if we want to go to home here. Now, the motherboard thing I was talking about there, that's probably the most important thing to keep in mind when you're picking parts or looking at hackintoshing your current parts. Um, for the most part, it pretty much has to be in here, the DSDT database. Um, you can click here. You don't have to. You don't. 
download anything here. If it's in here, then you're pretty much good to go. There's mine. So it's in here. That's why it worked for me. Um, yeah, so most important thing to keep in mind when you're looking for parts. All right, um, what else were we going to do here? Uh, all right, let's uh, take a look at just buying some parts. Um, we're going to head on over to Newegg. So you found your motherboard in the DSDT database. Um, shoot over to Newegg. Um, let's look for my motherboard. So this is just kind of a... a, a I'm just going to show you here how to pick... A, pick parts that are uh, compatible with the motherboard that you picked out. So we're going to look for mine, PSP 55D Pro. There it is there. In all of its glory, award-winning over Cockers Club Gold Award. Sounds good to me. So you're going to look in the overview here. And um, basically what you're going to want to figure out is what kind of memory it will take up to 1600, 1333, 1066. That's going to be pretty important when you're looking for memory. And then the CPU type. Um, this is going to be important when you're looking for a processor to match your motherboard. Um, this is the socket type which is kind of like the way the processor fits in. So this motherboard takes Core i7, i5, i3, LGA 1156. So let's just look up i7 1156. Bang. That shows up the motherboards, so processors. There's an i7. That's the same one I have. There you go. Look at that. It's compatible with my motherboard. So then we want to find some memory. Um, we can go up to 1600. So that being the fastest memory, let's just get some of that. DDR3. Bang. There's all the memory that's compatible with this motherboard. Tons of it. So, um, yeah. Hopefully that just gives you uh, a bit of a bit of an idea on how to uh, pick out some parts for um, the motherboard you selected. Um, like I say, if you're really confused about picking parts, then your best bet is to just copy off someone off the form or choose a custom act build or just copy off me like I say all the uh, I'm gonna post links to newag.ca in the description for all my parts um, if you're in the states your best bet's just to uh, if you want to copy off me go to the um, like life hacker build I'm gonna post that and uh, he lists all the parts that pretty much I have except for the processor like I say that is different any questions about uh, picking parts leave it in the comments or uh, shoot me an email at uh, hackintoshfd at gmail com, and I'd be more than happy to help you <coughs> or if you um, want you can um, since you're all signed up for the Tony Mac website go into the uh, buying advice section and feel free to ask about any question you want someone is always willing to help you so there that's that next video is going to be um, just building building a computer my computer so until then